In this question, we need to figure out the magnitude of acceleration when the roller coaster is at location B, and the direction angle it makes with the x-axis. First, we know we have to figure out the radius of curvature. That means we have to use this equation, which also means we need to figure out the first and second derivative of the equation given to us in the question. So we will start there. The first derivative is 1 over 50x. We have to take the derivative again, so that gives us 1 over 50. Now we can plug them into our equation. Since the question wants us to find the magnitude at x equals 30 meters, we can plug that in as well. Solving gives us 79.3 meters as our radius of curvature. Now to find the normal acceleration, we can use this equation. Velocity is given, which is 25 meters per second, and we just found rho. So let's plug it in and solve, which gives us 7.88 meters per second squared. The tangential acceleration is given to us in the question, so now we can use this equation to figure out the magnitude. Solving gives us 8.43 meters per second squared. For the second part of the question, we need to figure out the angle the magnitude of acceleration makes with the x-axis. So first, we need to draw a tangent line at location B. This tangent line is actually the tangential acceleration. Now we need to figure out the angle this tangent line makes with the x-axis. We can do that by using the first derivative and using the inverse of tan. So that gives us an angle of 30.96 degrees. Next, we can draw the normal acceleration. You will probably remember from reading your textbook that normal acceleration always points to the center of the curvature. Let's draw the magnitude of acceleration as well. Now if you look carefully, you will see that the bottom part of the triangle is the tangential acceleration and the side is the normal acceleration. The hypotenuse is the magnitude of acceleration. So what is the angle that the magnitude of acceleration makes with the tangential acceleration? Well, we can figure that out in many ways because we know the values of all the sides of the triangle. So you can use sine, cosine, or tangent to find it. I will use sine. The hypotenuse is 8.43 and the opposite length is 7.88. So it's the sine inverse of 7.88 divided by 8.43, which gives us 69.19 degrees. The last step is to figure out the angle the magnitude of acceleration makes with the x-axis which is the angle the tangential acceleration makes with the x-axis subtracted from the angle between the magnitude acceleration and tangential acceleration. So our answer is 38.23 degrees. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please comment below.